Welcome back. This is John Locke. And today I want to talk about when there's a big rankings change and you've done no changes to your site. There's no, nothing that you've done to your site. Why does this happen? Okay. Um, the reason why I'm doing this, I was inspired as seeing somebody ask this in a forum maybe about a month ago, but I've had lots of prospective clients ask me a variation of this question. Why did we suddenly, you know, go down in rankings when we haven't changed a single thing on our site? Um, I also saw on Twitter a noted SEO consultant, Lily Ray, uh, showed a graph of a site that hasn't been changed in about 20 years and pointing out that sometimes with Google Core updates, a site can plummet suddenly from having a lot of rankings to not ranking really well. I'll say this, this is a saying that I've said a lot of times, but it bears repeating, and, and that is your rankings are not like um, a title belt, like you win in boxing or UFC. Your rankings are, are going to fluctuate and they're going to change no matter what, because for one, the way that search engines rank is changing constantly and it's not a static thing, but also your competitors are getting better and maybe your information is, it might be outdated or there might be better results. And just because you ranked a long time ago doesn't mean that you deserve to rank today. And you must constantly uh, be looking at ways to improve your site. Better user experience, better design, updated content, up to the minute information that's correct. Uh, things that are correct um, on your site are very important. Uh, you know, all these things can happen. But yeah, core updates, yeah, they happen. There's smaller updates that happen on a daily basis. But that's the main reason. The, the search engines don't work the same way that they did five years ago or 10 years ago and definitely not the same way that they worked 20 years ago. So your rankings are going to change. Now, what are things that you can do to make sure that you're not gonna go through this drastic rankings drop? Um, well, one, pay attention to your site. You know, you, you can't just coast on the success of the past. Always be creating new content new information, making sure that the information that you have on your website is current because meanings change, people's intentions change over time. Sometimes the information itself becomes outdated and the information changes. So that's one thing you can do. The other thing that you can do is be building up links to your site, doing outreach to other webmasters, or by means of creating good content, sometimes you will get links from other people wanting to reference stuff, but being proactive about building your brand is the biggest thing. That is how you're gonna get referenced with links a lot of the time, is being proactive about building your brand. The other thing that you can really do is take proactive measures in trying to make sure that your site is the best that it can be. Make sure that it's mobile friendly, uh, using the HTTPS protocol to securely transmit data, and also, making sure that the design and the user experience on the site is as good as it can be. I know in May 2021, we have this core web vitals update that everybody's like panicking about. I don't think it's going to be a big thing because I think there's a lot of web masters that don't pay attention to stuff like that. But I think that it is something that, you know, you should pay attention to trying to make your site load faster and not take, you know, 10 seconds to load it is good for your uh, users and the people coming to your site. So those are just some ways that you can be proactive and try and, you know, get ahead of the curve, try and make sure that your rankings don't drop because you could not change anything for a long time and the rankings could just suddenly start dropping all of a sudden because there's better sites and Google wants to push maybe a different result and see what happens. And Lo and behold, if people respond to it better and it has basically the same information and it has a better link profile and a better user experience and loads faster and all these other things, then that's a better result. Remember, your, your website is, is an asset that you need to take care of and you need to nurture it and help it grow and, and do things to uh, help it. All right, that's all I have for now. My name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. You can find me at lockdownseo.com. And I would 
encourage you to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm making videos as often as I can here, at least once a week. And uh, that's all I have for now. Until next time, peace.